Did you think the universe is silent? Well, it is not. In this video, I will show you how the 20 most scary objects sound in space. All of these sounds are real and are captured by NASA and other space organizations. Let me show you an example of what you can expect. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system, and it sounds just as intense as it looks. When NASA's Juno spacecraft flew close to Jupiter, it picked up powerful plasma waves in the planet's massive magnetic field. The sounds were created by radio waves moving through clouds of charged particles. When scientists converted those signals into audio, it came out sounding like a deep, growling roar, like something huge and angry hiding in the dark. It's not just loud, it's full of energy, with rising and falling tones that almost feel alive. If planets could growl, this is what it would sound like. And of course, it came from Jupiter, the king of planets. Saturn might have rings that look peaceful from a distance, but the sounds coming from around the planet tell a different story. NASA's Cassini spacecraft recorded strange radio signals as it flew through Saturn's magnetic field. When those signals were turned into sound, they came out as loud, high-pitched screeches and whistles. The noises change rapidly, and sometimes rising, sometimes falling, like something moving or reacting in real time. It doesn't sound like anything natural. It almost feels like interference or even a warning signal. But it's just Saturn doing what Saturn does, quietly giving off sounds that make space feel a little more unsettling. Enceladus is one of Saturn's smaller moons, but what it's doing is wild. It has huge cracks at its south pole that shoot out water vapor and ice into space, like giant space geysers. When NASA's Cassini spacecraft flew through those plumes, it picked up a series of clicks and hissing sounds. The data came from particles hitting the craft's sensors, but when sonified, it sounded like something spraying or fizzing, almost like a giant vent opening in the dark. It's cold, distant, and quiet on Enceladus, but this sound feels like a warning that something's moving just beneath the ice. Venus is hot, deadly, and full of pressure. Not the kind of place you'd want to visit. But in 1982, the Soviet Venera 13 lander made it to the surface and managed to send back audio. What it recorded was a low, rumbling wind that never seems to stop. It's thick, heavy, and constant. There's no breeze, and just pressure and heat pushing everything down. Listening to it, you can almost feel how crushing Venus really is. The sound doesn't change much, but that's what makes it worse. It just keeps going, like the planet itself doesn't want anything to survive there. In 2005, NASA's Stardust mission flew past Comet Temple 1 and captured the sound of tiny particles slamming into the spacecraft. The impacts were small, but the sounds are sharp and fast. Like sand hitting metal in rapid bursts, it's not peaceful like you might imagine a comet flyby would be. It's sudden, rough, and honestly feels like driving through a hailstorm at high speed. This was one of the first times scientists heard what it's like to pass close to a comet. The sound is simple, but it gives you a real sense of just how active space can be. Even Earth makes some pretty strange sounds. Our planet is surrounded by a magnetic field that protects us from solar radiation. But when charged particles from the sun hit it, they create strange noises called whistlers. Satellites have recorded these whistling tones as they echo through space. They rise and fall quickly, sounding like something racing past your ears. It's peaceful and weird at the same time, like a haunted flute playing in the background of space. 
it's a reminder that even our own planet is constantly reacting to the chaos around it, even if we never hear it down here. Hoag's object is a perfect ring-shaped galaxy about 600 million light-years away. It looks like a glowing circle in space, and when scientists turned its image into sound, the result was strangely smooth and also a little unsettling. The tones feel balanced but unnatural like a song on repeat that never ends. It's too perfect. The symmetry of the galaxy gives the sound a calm, steady beat, but it almost feels like something's off it, like space is trying to mimic order. It's beautiful, sure, but, but when you hear it, you start wondering what's really out there. RS Puppis is a type of star that expands and contracts over time, kind of like a heartbeat. When scientists turned this star's light changes into sound, it created a steady, repeating pulse. The rhythm is smooth but slow, like a giant drum echoing across space. It almost feels alive, like you're listening to something breathe in and out. It's not aggressive or loud, but there's something strange about it. The idea of a star pulsing in space, silently ticking away for thousands of years, makes the sound feel more serious, like it's marking time in the vast dark. This nebula got its nickname because it looks like coral floating in space. But when scientists turned telescope data into sound, the result was soft and echo-like, almost like underwater noises, but in space. It has a drifting, distant quality, like something moving slowly far away. The tones feel wide and stretched out as if they never quite end. There's nothing sharp or sudden about it, but that's what makes it kind of creepy. It's space at its quietest, and yet it still feels like something is watching or waiting in the distance. The mice galaxies are two galaxies crashing into each other. They're being pulled apart by gravity, stretching into long tails as they collide. When the data from their movement was turned into sound, it came out harsh and jumpy. The audio rises and falls quickly like something speeding up and slowing down in bursts. It sounds messy, like something breaking. There's no balance or rhythm here, just pressure building and releasing. The sound gives you a sense of how chaotic and violent galaxy collisions really are even though they take millions of years to happen. V838. Monoceratus is a giant star that suddenly flared up and lit up the space around it. The light from the blast echoed off surrounding dust, and that echo was turned into sound. The result is soft but strange, like, you know, like a fading hum that keeps trailing off. It doesn't have a beat or pattern, just a quiet, slow motion release. It sounds like something ending, it's not dramatic, but the stillness of it makes it feel heavier. Like a reminder that stars don't just shine, sometimes they quietly disappear. M87 is the galaxy that gave us the first ever photo of a black hole. But beyond the image, scientists also translated data from the glowing gas around it into sound. The result is a deep, low-toned hum, steady and heavy. It doesn't move much, but it fills the space like a constant pressure. It sounds like something massive is just sitting there, pulling everything in. You can't see black holes directly, but this sound gives you a sense of their silent, endless power. Deep in the Perseus galaxy cluster, there's a supermassive black hole that's actually playing a note. And scientists found it. It's a B-flat, but get this, it's 57 octaves below middle C. 
That's way below what any human could hear, so researchers raised the pitch to make it audible, and the result is spooky. A deep, dragging rumble that never stops. It's not a beat, it's not a rhythm, it's just there. Like a background sound the universe forgot to turn off. If space had a voice, this black hole might be part of it. High above Earth, near the magnetic pole, something strange happens during solar storms. Charged particles from the sun hit our atmosphere and create colorful lights, the auroras, but they also create sound. Satellites have picked up high-pitched tones and chirping noises during these events. When played back, it sounds like birds singing in space. Fast, light, and a little too sharp it doesn't match what you'd expect from Earth. It's nature making music in a way we never hear from the ground and it leaves a weird feeling that space is much closer than we think. The sun isn't quiet, not even close. It's constantly sending out waves of energy and charged particles. When scientists turned this activity into sound, it came out like a buzzing, pulsing rhythm. The tone isn't wild or unpredictable, and it's steady but it has a pressure to it, like a machine that never stops. The fact that it's our own star sitting there every day above us makes it even more intense. We rely on the sun for everything, but when you hear what it's actually doing, it feels more serious and more dangerous. Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object from Earth, and it's out beyond the edge of the solar system. In 2021, scientists noticed it was picking up a strange, steady signal, a kind of plasma hum. When converted into sound, it's a constant, quiet tone. No ups or downs, just there, in the background. It feels lonely, like you're deep underwater or in a room with no walls. Nothing else is moving, but the sound never stops. This is what it's like in the space between stars, empty, endless, and still making noise. Most meteors burn up high in the atmosphere, silent to us. But sometimes, people report hearing them at the same time they see them. Sizzling, popping, or even hissing. This is called an electrophonic sound, it happens when radio waves from the meteor interact with objects nearby like glasses, metal, or dry leaves, creating actual sound right next to you. The idea that a meteor can make a noise you hear on the ground instantly without delay is strange enough. But hearing it crackle without knowing why? That's next level creepy. For centuries, people around the world have reported loud booms coming from the sky, with no clear source, no thunder, no jets, just a sudden explosion-like sound out of nowhere. They're called skyquakes, and no one fully understands them. Some think they come from meteors, shifting tectonic plates, or distant lightning, but none of that explains how often or how suddenly that they happen. There's no warning and no pattern. Just a loud, deep boom from above. You hear it, and then it's gone, like space knocked on the roof and left. In 1969, during the Apollo 10 mission, astronauts passed behind the moon, completely out of radio contact with Earth. That's when they picked up something strange. Their headsets filled with a high-pitched whistling tone. It went on for about an hour. The astronauts called it space music, and you can hear them in the recordings wondering what it was. NASA later said it might have been a radio interference, but still, no one was transmitting. They were in the most isolated part of space at the time. Hearing that sound in that moment, it left even trained astronauts shaken. While orbiting Saturn, NASA's Cassini spacecraft picked up something weird, bursts of radio noise that didn't sound like anything else it had recorded. 
These weren't smooth signals or background hums. They came in quick, sharp spikes. When turned into sound, it was like fast static clicks, almost like a Geiger counter going off. They happened in clusters, then stopped. It felt sudden, intentional, almost like something was trying to make contact. Scientists never figured out exactly what caused them, and that's what makes this sound gonna stand out. It wasn't just strange, it was unexplained, and that's always the most unsettling part.